Hey, what's up? All right, Greg here again, and welcome to the vlog. Change, that one word in my life scares me the most. Just a quick side note, guys. I've been told that I don't speak fast enough, so I'm gonna try and speak a little bit quicker. If I need to, I will put subtitles in when I edit. Um, I also need to stop saying um. It makes my editing <laughs> ridiculously long. <laughs> If you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and if you do subscribe smash the bell icon for notifications of future videos change one of my biggest fears in life has always been change i'm very much a fan of the status quo change comes along uh, I tend to back out and get angry with the world <laughs> and uh, it's not the world's fault but it's my fault. Something you know, I've been trying to do and I do think it's going to help in my life is uh, this chair, the chair that I'm standing on here is going to break. Accepting change. Change is a it's part and parcel of life, everyday life. The reason I'm bringing this up is, is the gym I frequent the most is a Virgin Active in the Alberton area. I live in the Alberton area. Some pretty nice houses back there. Last week I got a notification that they were closing the gym from Thursday to Sunday, yesterday, and uh, replacing treadmills and strength and weightlifting equipment. Score. Got there today and I don't know what it is, but Virgin Active seems to be going the way of cross training and like performance training. It's, 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 a, it's a fad that started a couple of years ago with, uh, with Reebok and coming up with CrossFit and everyone trying to jump on the bandwagon and just carry and do the same thing. But the gym is, I'd say about half of the, the cardio section has now been replaced with an open, open area with a grid system on it. It's just a lot of crap. But it has changed and my first, first thought is I'm against it, <laughs> but I'm trying to accept it. So I'm just changing my, my whole routine and to accommodate. That's the, the gist of today's video. A little bit of motivation, if you will. The next thing is, I just gotta give an apology for yesterday's video not being uploaded. Um, I am trying to keep up with the, the video a day challenge that I set for myself. It's not an actual real challenge, but <laughs> for me it is. The problem yesterday was being Mother's Day, I had a bit of, oh, what should I say, not a bit, I had quite a lot of red wine and I overindulged, I think that's the right word. So I uh, kind of got home and passed out <laughs> and didn't get to do any content or video or anything like that. I have a little bit of sh some short clips of the restaurant we were at, so I'm gonna run those now. What do you think? Not too bad. That restaurant is called Bennigan's. It's in Bedford View. Oh, no, sorry. Not in Bedford View, in Kensington. It used to be in the Bedford Centre in Bedford View, but they've now moved out and gone out that side. Maybe you recognise this background from, I think it's my very first video. <laughs> I'll link it over here. You'll see how my content has changed quite a lot. And my conversation skills, have, I think, have improved. <laughs> okay, guys. Remember to be good to each other. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Peace.